How to Write in Third Grade, Volume 5 of 7 A Persuasive Essay Should your school give every student a laptop computer to use at home in school? Teacher Background This is the second time you write a structured persuasive paragraph. Remember, when you persuade someone, you use reasons, explanations, and examples to convince them that you are right. You want the reader to think critically and agree with your opinion. A persuasive paragraph has a predictable form. Your beginning has to tell your reader what you think of the question. Then you provide your strongest reason. Your next sentence or sentences explains your reason in different words. You continue this pattern with a second reason and explanation, and a third reason and explanation. You finish by restating your opinion. The last writing we did was a persuasive paragraph. We wrote, trying to convince the reader to agree with our opinion about school uniforms. No uniforms! Yes, uniforms! We used reasons and explanations to make it easy for the reader to think clearly and agree with us. The best persuasive paragraphs are not emotional, but intellectual. You don't want them to feel, you want them to think. For today's writing, you must decide. Should your school give every student a laptop computer to use at home and at school? Remember, writers don't start without first gathering all of the elements for their finished piece. Once they have all the elements, then a writer assembles them into a whole. You will begin by brainstorming the topic. What are all the reasons why the school district should give students a laptop computer to use at home in school? And a second list, what are all the reasons why they shouldn't? Remember, don't write out full sentences or the explanations or examples. Just write down a few words to serve as a placeholder for your idea. Look at your list of reasons why students should be given laptops. One of them is heavy backpacks. This reason is more clear once you hear the student's explanation. Some students have a very heavy backpack from carrying lots of books around school. A laptop computer is lighter than lots of textbooks. Look at your list of reasons why students should not be given laptops. One of them is breaks easily. This reason becomes more clear when you hear the explanation. Laptops are fragile. If a laptop falls to the ground, it will break. Pencils and books don't usually break when they fall to the ground. Notice how the complete explanation usually needs more than one sentence. Now that all of the reasons and explanations have been given, you have to decide which position has three reasons and explanations that you understand well and could write about in your paper. The strongest arguments are the ones that have reasons and explanations that go together. Your explanations should be clear and logical. Look at your two list and find three reasons that you could easily explain, just like we did for breaks easily and heavy backpacks. Take a piece of the persuasive paragraph worksheets. Write your name and the position you have chosen to write about at the top. Look at your list of reasons. Find one of the reasons you know you can explain. Write it down on the first reason section. On the lines below it, write your explanation for this reason. Your goal with an explanation is to make the reason more clear by putting it into different words. If you use the same words, you are not giving an explanation, you are restating your reason. Sometimes it helps to pretend you are explaining it to a younger sibling. Then choose a second reason from your list and write it down on the second reason section of your sheet. Again, write your explanation in different words to make the reason more clear. Finally, choose a third reason to put on your persuasive paragraph worksheet. 
write an explanation for this reason. Remember, make the reason more clear by putting it into different words. Last time we wrote, we gathered the reasons and explanations necessary to write our paragraph. Before we do, reread your reasons and explanations. Are your explanations clear and logical? Do they go with the reasons? Does the explanation make it easier to understand the reason? If they don't, rewrite them or pick a different reason from our chart and write a new explanation. Which of your three reason explanation pairs is the strongest? In other words, if you could only give one reason explanation pair, which one would you use? Put a one next to it. Which is your next strongest? Put a two next to it. Your last pair gets a three. It is usually best to begin a persuasive essay with your strongest reason. Sometimes readers lose interest in what they're reading. It is much more likely that they will pay attention at the beginning of your paragraph. They may not be paying attention when they get to your last reason. Start your persuasive essay with your strongest reason. Take a piece of the class writing paper. Write your name and date. In the writing skills section, write opening closing opinion, three reasons with explanations, organizing words. Remember, persuasive paragraphs have a predictable structure. The first sentence or sentences tells your reader your opinion. For example, I think the school district should give each student entering third grade a laptop computer. Another way is, the world is changing rapidly. The school district can help students keep up with this change by giving everyone entering third grade a laptop computer. Both examples make it clear to the reader what you are trying to prove. Make up your own sentence or sentences to start your paragraph. Now write a sentence using the strongest reason, the reason with a one next to it. Begin your sentence with words that organize your thoughts. My first reason is, or, the most important thing about giving students laptop computers is, both sentences signal to your reader that this is the first reason and that you're going to give more reasons. Now write a sentence using the strongest reason, the reason with a one next to it. Now write the explanation for your strongest reason. Remember, your explanation may be two or three sentences. Now write a sentence using reason two from your graphic organizer. Begin your sentence with words that show your thoughts are organized. My second reason is, or, another good thing about students having laptop computers is, now write the explanation for reason number two. Again, Explanations can be two or three sentences long. Finally, write a sentence using reason number three from your graphic organizer. Begin your sentence with words that show your thoughts are organized. The last reason is, or, finally, a laptop computer is, Now write the explanation sentences for reason three. After you've given all of your reasons and explanations, 
you have to signal to your reader that you're done. You can do this by giving your opinion again. Each student should be given a laptop computer. Another way is to ask the reader their opinion. The world is changing rapidly. The school district can help students by giving every student entering third grade a laptop computer. Can you think of a better way to help students? Notice that both endings sound like the beginning of our paper. When the ending sentences remind the reader of the beginning sentences, we say it makes a circle. A circle is a complete geometric shape. This completeness is another signal to your reader that your paper is complete. Now reread your paragraph. Does it sound right? Did you use complete sentences? Fix the elements that sound or feel wrong. Look back to the top of your paper at your writing skills. Did you give your opinion at the beginning and at the end of your paper? Did you give three reasons with explanations? Did you use organizing words? Good job.